Woo. All right, thank you everyone. How's the new year treating you all so far? Woo. Pretty good. Pretty good. Also glad to hear. I wanted to do something special for my first act of the new year, so I decided I'm going to do something I have never done before, and hopefully it will blow all your minds. A card trick. <laughs> I know. There, yes! There's actually kind of a big discussion in mentalism about whether you should do card tricks in your act or not. Some people think it's gimmicky, that it makes you seem like a common magician. I mean, personally, I think the stronger debate would be whether we should call out people who are falsely claiming to have real powers and using them to scam others. But no, the cards take more important priority. <laughs> but the, another problem with card tricks is like they're just so they're kind of lame when you when you try to tie them into psychic powers. Like, yes, I can see into the future. I can uh, perceive all the possible events that will happen, and I use this God-given ability to know that you would pick the four of spades. <laughs> I mean, so you gotta make it a little more interesting. And I think I figured out how. I'm not gonna use my mental abilities. Someone else is gonna use theirs. Who'd like to volunteer? All right, oh, come on back up. All right, Kyle, do you like card tricks? Uh, I do now. <laughs> good, good answer. I can tell you were lying, but good answer. All right, now, Kyle, I'm just going to ask you a simple question. Yeah. But I just want you to name any playing card that comes to mind, okay? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. That's interesting. Most people, they'll either go for the Ace of Spades or the Queen of Hearts. Okay. Because those are some of the most common and the most recognizable. It's what they call a psychological force. But uh, you didn't. You went for the Ace of Clubs, which means uh, you can't use either of these. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try something a little different then. I'm going to try. I want you to come up with a card in your mind. Okay. Okay? Now, first, you're going to focus on the suit. Okay. Oh, you can keep your eyes open. Okay, well, right. <laughs> um, I was trying to see my mind. Yeah, well, just no, visualize. You have, I have to help establish okay. the focus. Okay. Okay. Now, first we're gonna first we're gonna determine the suit. Okay. Now there are four suits: hearts, clubs, diamonds, okay. and spades. Okay. So I want you to focus. Just focus. You know, put your focus on me. Okay. Get the image in your head. Tell me when you have the suit. Okay. Got it. Okay. Now we're gonna come up with the value. Just imagine that you got ace through king. Right. Imagine you got a pen, a little piece of paper, just write it down like that, okay? Okay. All right, which card did you pick? Uh, seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. You did exactly what I wanted you to. Okay. That's a little trick from a guy named Darren Brown. Okay. You know, have you heard of him? No. He does this technique it's called neurolinguistic programming. Okay. Yeah. Basically what you do is you try to prime someone so that they subconsciously pick up on what you're telling them. Okay. So like when I was going through the suits, yeah. when I got to diamonds, I emphasized that. And then when I asked you to focus and on And I said, me, okay, after you said diamonds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I had you focus on this. Yeah. You could do a heart too. No idea how you'd make a spade though, yeah. or a club, unless you were like triple jointed. Yeah. And then when I had you, and then when I asked you to write the value, I made the little like yeah. that. So once again, so that would be for this revelation. Uh... <laughs> okay, so we've tried you with the neuro with we tried you with the basic psychological force. We tried the neurolinguistic programming. Now I'm going to try a very subtle psychological force. Okay, I'm going to mentally transmit a specific card to you. Okay, and I'm going to do it with strict nonverbal communication. Okay, I just want you to see if you can pick up on the on my signals. Okay. Is this awkward? <laughs> oh, okay. That means it's working. Alright. <laughs> okay. So a specific card should have visual should have materialized in your mind. Okay. Can you tell me which one it was? Uh Jack of Clubs is what I was thinking. Jack of Clubs. Interesting. Got a deck here. Back 
here. And before I started the show, before I came tonight, I reversed one card in this deck. That card is the Jack of Clubs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, as I want, I'm gonna lay them all out here for you. As you can see, it's cards. Every other card was face. Every other card was face down in that orientation. Yeah. And not only that, but I take the jack from a different back deck. Oh. Okay. Uh, so Kyle, I want to congratulate you. You are very good at picking up on subtle cues. Use that skill well. All right. Thank you very much, <laughs> Kyle.